that, we are going into Grand Finals. ZD versus Tatanga. ZD's been waiting patiently there in Grands. Uh, Tatanga fighting his way back up through the loser's bracket to get another shot at this. Actually, did we see ZD versus Tatanga earlier today? I don't believe we did. I don't think these two have played today. Because uh, I believe Tatanga lost to Oolong earlier on uh, before getting the chance. So this will be uh, the first time we're seeing these particular two players fight tonight. And it'll be interesting to see if Tatanga can continue this hot streak and keep things going. They will need to make that bracket reset happen to take first. And ZD, of course, has been playing uh, some very, very solid pit tonight. We've seen some pretty cool pit combo setups uh, and some, some very lethal ledge trap play. Tatanga moving in. Oh, catching the up tilt, anti-airing that falling forward air. It seems to be something that Tatanga does very well with his character, is just deal with aggressive aerial options. Oh, the reflector on the Chakanetsu, though. Going to cost Tatanga in a big way. The damage, not so much as a problem as it is being on the ledge, but able to navigate through it without too much of a problem. ZD sticking to those safe landing options, not giving up any opportunities for Tatanga to take the stock. And now the juggle has begun. There's two up smashes that have connected now. Looking for a third one, not going to find it. Tatanga back up onto the ledge. This time it's the down tilt to the up air is going to seal the stock. ZD taking that early lead. How long can he hold on to it for? There's, once again, there's ultra safe landing options. It, the, the, the downside of that down air is that, you know, it, it's a little slow in start up. You can, you can probably get up there, stuff it out, but Ryu, not a character that really gets up in the air like that. And once it hits your shield, you really don't have a rebuttal. It, it hit your shield, you just have to hold that, uh, you know, be ready for the next option. You don't really get a lot to respond with there. And look at ZD, just weaving in arrows between double jumps as he comes back to the stage, but narrowing back onto the stage, maybe just a little too aggressive. Tatenga countering that in kind and taking the uh, stocks back to an even count. There's that platform reset with the down air, but ZD not able to finish it off with the back air there, but Tatenga failing to recover regardless. That's a full stock lead now for ZD. Tatenga is going to have a long way to go to try to bring this one back. Had the read on the for, uh, focus attack, but just didn't have the distance. Dash attack. Oh, wait, hold, air dodge off stage there. I don't think that was intentional, but luckily it's pit. Not a, not a whole lot lost there for ZD. The spacing game now getting very intense. Wow. And Tatango is consistently winning out this spacing game, you know, uh, this, this boxing happening here, this movement game. Uh, but only really getting a couple, you know, jab one, jab two. Not a lot of damage off of it. ZD with those the few wins, you know, the, rel the comparatively few wins is, is getting so much damage per win that it's just evening, uh, more so than evening out. Giving ZD the percentage advantage here by uh, quite a margin. His fireballs starting to make their way back into Tatanga's game plan here at the mid range. ZD on the ledge, holding shield, waiting out the nair, or the forward air and the Shoryuken, finding the punish to take game one. ZD, of course, uh, generally uh, the player that makes it up to, uh, generally ends up being our grand champion, our grand finalist at the end of the night. Not uh, not looking to change that anytime soon. Not going to let uh, Tatenga slip away with that win quite so easily, but Tatenga's been playing out of his mind tonight in a couple of these matchups, so if there was ever a night for it to happen, this might just be it. But here we go, game two. ZD taking a little bit more of a measured approach here than we saw earlier on. Using those forward airs to space out. Tatanga now stuck up on the ledge. Ready for that fireball though. ZD locking on to Tatanga's ledge habits. We've been seeing a lot of Tatanga come back to the ledge using a drop ledge and then fireball. Uh, jump in fireball, drop ledge, jump in forward air. Uh, and it, it's a they have different timings, different amounts of safety. But Pit can punish both and can punish both relatively the same way. Wasn't ready for that time, though. One more good opportunity past the ledge with that burst option. And again, as I was just saying, ZD seemed to be locked onto it. It seems like now Tatanga's getting away with it time and time again. Maybe uh, just not expecting uh, Tatanga to continue to use that option, perhaps. But, you know, if it's working for you more often than it's not, you may as well continue to do it. Tatanga seems pretty, uh, pretty set on that, but now... It's more about getting in and trying to find the stock here. We're still even. Both players, you know, Pitt's uh, probably not really at kill percent per se. Shuri, uh, the Tats oh, Tatsumaki, not quite going to kill there. 
Uh, Ryu, on the other hand, absolutely is. Tatanga could lose a stock at any moment here. Luckily, that down smash sending outward across the stage. Ready with the Nair that time. The dash attack can't, the focus attack cancel. Moving right into those spinning swords and uh, sweeping away Tatanga's stock there. Oh, two down tails. I guess there wasn't an opportunity to combo into the Shoryuken. There's Tatanga backing off, taking the ledge, but not able to convert. And this time it's uh, ZD once again here. The Tatsumaki past the ledge still ends up getting Tatanga hit, but it gets him off the ledge. It meant that the hit didn't put him back on the ledge, and that's where Tatanga needs to be. Leading into that situation, getting ZD onto the ledge instead, hitting that Shoryuken combo to close out the stock, and now we're still looking at a relatively even game. There's a small lead here, but nothing uh, nothing decisive. Uh, the, the stage positioning, honestly, more so a worry than the percentages. ZD going way out there, ready for the Tatsumaki, ready for Tatenga's offstage options, because Ryu does have to commit to some, uh, some pretty laggy mo uh, movement options offstage to make that horizontal recovery work. And, Unfortunately, that end lag is uh, is very punishable by a character that's competent in the air. Uh, Pit, you know, of course, having wings, <laughs> very much so that. Now Tatanga taking a different approach here, playing a, uh, a more spaced out neutral, a little bit uh, further away. The aggressive jump in, though. The one moment Tatanga goes for the aggressive option, ZD counters it, but now we're starting to see some more success from that aggression. ZD dropping shield here a few times just a little bit too early. Was that an attempt at the ledge trump from Ryu? What does Ryu do with ledge trump? I'm sure there's options. I'm just not familiar with them. I think they're going out way wide, respecting the down air, respecting the spike, but man, didn't work off stage, but it worked covering the ledge jump. ZD still commanding the flow of this fight so far. Well, not anymore. Tatenga is applying a lot of pressure on shield. ZD is able to slip out, but not able to retaliate. Ugh, of course, as soon as I say it, it's exactly what happens here. ZD is now uh, pressuring that platform. Focus attack does not going to combo uh, at that charge at this percentage. Tatenga, once again, going very low, respecting the spike. Fully charged focus attack coming to earn up. Maybe half charge. I'm not sure. Coming back to the ledge. Either way, very committal, paying off, catching ZD, holding shield and then com setting up that crumple for the Shoryuken. And now Tatanga's just playing the ledge. Hold on, we, we fit trainer now? Mm, we are not. We do not have that same level of safety on that ledge. ZD catching the back air to take game two in the two zero sets. Tatanga now looking at what was uh, before uh, a mountain is now even worse. You've got to make the three zero comeback here just to get the bracket reset, and then you've got to take three games in the bracket reset. All the while, ZD continuing with the solid play and continuing to harass you with those pit aerials and those long combo strings. Oh, and you can see maybe the pressure getting to Tatango a little bit there, a little bit of hesitation, uh, <laughs> almost standing perfectly still for ZD to move in and find those first few hits. Wow, and ZD is just maneuvering around Tatenga's defensive options here very effectively. Down smash maybe a little committal, but not breaking ZD's stride whatsoever. Just hit after hit, setting up these pit bread and butters, setting up solid damage. But it just doesn't seem to be enough. Not able to take the stock at the very least. I mean, it's still early. 91% is still going to be a little bit. I forget. It seems like Pit like just runs wild on people. And I'm like, where is the stock going to happen? When is it going to happen? And I look at the percentage. I'm like, oh, okay. They're actually not as as damaged as I thought they would be. It just feels like it because of all those multi-hits. But down air spike into the up smash. Man, that up smash does take stocks pretty early when you land it. Tatanga now down a stock here, trying to pressure ZD, trying to maneuver with that ledge situation, but ZD just using full hops here, not even utilizing the multiple double jumps that Pit has access to, comboing the reflected Shokunetsu to send Tatanga across the stage. You love to see that kind of creativity come out from the character, and ZD is just waiting. Oh, drag down up air into the down air, but no follow up off of it. Interesting option. Maybe just uh, a little bit off spacing to find a, a longer combo string there. Once more, ready for the Tatsumaki with another down air spike into the up smash. At just about the same part of the stage as the last one happened. ZD uh, proving <laughs> proving to be very consistent this game three. Oh wow, and ZD is already going way off stage. 
using the back air to shut down the Tatsumaki, not able to prevent Teitenga from recovering there, and Teitenga finding, finally, the misstep that allows the setup into the Shoryuken to take that stock there. Uh, and at least not let this last game be a three stock, but it still seems just so uphill right now. And ZD has so much time and so much resource to play with to just stall out, take little hits, take chip damage if needed, and then eventually take the stock and maybe just go into the lethal stuff right away. Instead, though, down throw into the up air, sending way up into the blast zone, but not going to kill at that percentage. It's jabs on ledge. This puts Tatanga in a difficult spot. Being back on the sledge is not where you want to be, but he's able to get around. Still needs to find the landing. Clever usage of the shield, staying on point, making sure that those arrows are not interrupting his flow right now, but the Nair out of shield is becoming more and more of an issue. Sure, you can go to power right through. Tatanga has the ledge, sticking to ZD's shield there, running in the back throw. I'm not sure what the uh, sure you can there was meant to accomplish, but it did not... Uh, Seem to interrupt his stride whatsoever. No combo with the Tatsumaki, though. ZD flying just a little too high, able to flap those wings to get out of it and set up the grab at the end. So the down throw to the up air to take that last stock 